is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel with me mrs z1 we are hopping into bakery simulator yep you heard it right we're gonna be running a bakery how cool is that um if you guys do enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already maybe consider subscribing as well always a link down below in the, in the description where you can purchase it over on steam and uh let's go ahead let's hop on in okay so it looks like we're gonna start out with a tutorial Welcome to your bakery. Your biggest dream came true. You've opened your very own bakery and you're proud to flood the city with fresh pastries. However, it's just the beginning. There's a lot of hard work ahead of you. Build reputation, gain experience, and become successful in the world of baking. There's a lot of responsibilities, but don't worry. You'll make it. After all, this is all you've dreamed of. The first order is waiting for you. What is the first order? Okay, WASD to move around the bakery. Uh, now go to the ordering board and press OK on the folder. Five minute bakery. Three breakfast buns. Okay, press R to continue. On the left, there's a list of shops with current orders. Now, only one order is available, but later in the game, you'll be able to pick more than one request from a much longer list. Okay. On the right side, you'll find the map with marked spots based on it. You can check the location of orders and decide which part of the city you want to make a delivery to. Now, pick the available order and press confirm. Okay, so this is our only available order, so let's go ahead and confirm that. After selecting an order, it will appear on the ordering board press on the board to collect it okay a breakfast bun requires wheat water milk yeast sh uh sugar um holy moly okay we got a lot of stuff to do but before you look f uh move further let me teach you about the recipe book to open a radical menu press the tab button oh look Baking supplies, reset position, recipe book call for delay, uh, progression, economy, customization. Okay, that is cool. Select the recipe book. Okay, here are all the recipes that you already know. Right now, it's not that much, but don't worry. With every new level, you'll learn new ones. Bookmarks on the side make navigation easier. Each recipe page contains information about the steps required to pre prepare the order, as well as ingredients, mixing time, ingredients, and baking time. You can choose the number of products to bake by using the arrows. The recipe will adjust accordingly. Press escape to close the recipe book. The checklist is visible on the right side of the screen. It helps you to follow the recipe and complete it perfectly. Are you prepared for some baking? Yes. Good. Press um on the bowl to pick it up okay this bowl is average and small but don't worry during the game you'll be able to unlock bigger and more professional bowls you'll also be able to upgrade their capacity now it's time to collect the needed ingredients go to the ingredients rack in the left corner of the screen you can find the scoops for now you just need one gram Okay, first things first, I think we need the wheat flour. You can collect the ingredients by... Oh, no. We're doing butter? I don't even think we're supposed to get butter. Butter's not a part of the recipe. What? Why is it... Why is it blinking? You can collect the ingredients by clicking every time you're using the scoop or pressing and holding. Uh, the scoop will refill itself one by one. Okay, I want to... No, I guess we're using this. Oh, my gosh. I'm making a mess. By the way, anytime you make a mistake, you will see the icon next to the failed step. Yeah, we failed because you guys, because the game told me to use butter and I knew we didn't need butter for this recipe. Don't worry, the mistake can be fixed easily. You can only remove, you can remove only the last added ingredient by pointing on the ingredient container or the trash bin. Cool but what to do when more than one ingredient is in the bowl is wrong. You can remove them by using the trash bin. Trash bin. Let me show you how it works. Collect the highlighted ingredient to the bowl using, uh, I'm trying to remove this. 
Okay, maybe it's empty now. Um, hmm. Okay, now move it to the trash bin. Remember, with this method, you can get rid of the entire contents of the bowl. You can also use the trash bin to throw away other things like burned bread or used bread forms. Anyway, let's get back to baking. Look at the ingredients rack. It seems that one of the ingredients you need is missing. Don't worry. This is where the baking supplies tab in the radical menu comes in handy. Press tab. We're going to go to baking supplies. Uh, the baking supplies tab is where you can buy missing ingredients. Now choose the product. Okay, wheat flour. Press buy to pay for wheat flour. Buy. Purchase products don't immediately arrive to your bakery. Usually, usually you have to wait for the delivery to get them. Uh, this can be a little troublesome, right? However, you can speed up the delivery process, but be careful. It may cost you a little. Okay, press U on the wheat flour to speed up the delivery process. Okay, there's one simple trick which will help you avoid paying for a faster delivery or waiting for ingredients to arrive. Just buy all the missing product before choosing any order. Being prepared for the day will save you some money. Okay, we need to be prepared. Now with all the necessary ingredients you can find, start preparing your order. We're doing it. Now we can go back to the scoop tool. Look, this time you can choose different sizes of the scoop. To change the size, press E and Q or roll the mouse wheel. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use this one. Okay, you can collect the ingredients by clicking every time you use a scoop or pressing and holding while holding it, the spoon will refill itself one by one. Collect the ingredients into the bowl. Let's do it. Oh, we're doing yeast. I thought we were doing um, I don't think I did wheat flour yet. Okay, I guess we'll do... Oh, we already finished wheat flour, I guess. I don't think we did. It says zero grams. I don't even understand. I don't understand. Okay, yeast. Six grams will go with one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it looks like it maybe automatically already put 150 grams of the wheat flour, so we're good with that. Um, let's get some water in here. We need 60 milliliters. We'll do a 50 and then we'll go down to a five and another five. And then we got our milk. Same thing. There we go. Oh, we need sugar. Sugar's up here. We got it. Okay, good job. Now you can mix all the ingredients. Transfer the dough to the mixer mixer. Okay, there we go. Now press the button on the mixer casing and wait for the dough to be ready. Watch the widget carefully so you don't overmix the batter. Oh, look, we can see a little thing going around. Okay. Don't you think the mixing process could be a little bit shorter? You have the perfect solution for that. Upgrade the machine. To check the upgrade options, point at the mixer bolt and press U. You'll see an upgrading option. Just push the purchase button to buy it. Okay, we're pushing the purchase button to buy it. After purchasing the mixer upgrade, the turbo mode will appear. Press and hold the mixer button during, um, turn off the mixer. Okay, so I think we had the option to have a turbo mode, but I, I was too slow. Okay, so let's take the bow, uh, the dough back and let's put it back in our bowl. Uh, put the dough on the forming board. Okay, that looks good. Oh, that was not where we were supposed to put it. Right here. And then we put the bowl right there. Awesome. Okay, now press on the forming board. There are various forms of pastries from long bread to croissants. As you gain more and more experience, you will learn how to create different forms. But for now, you need to form buns. Okay, we're forming the buns. Okay, so we're supposed to push the space bar when it's in the green. Forming the dough is a 
second mini game. Bring, grab the ring and move the mouse to match images with their shadows. Okay. Looks easy enough. We're forming the buns, guys. Now put your freshly formed buns on the tray. Oh no, one of my buns fell on the ground. Okay, there we go. Um, it's finally time to bake your buns. However, you have just an old oven for now. Don't worry, you will acquire better ovens later on in the game. Okay, no problem. To open the oven doors, let's do that. Put the tray in there. There we go, we did it. Uh, close the oven and wait for the buns to bake. Okay. You can check the bun status by pointing uh, at the oven doors. When the baking widget appears, you will see the timer for each product as well as its baking process. Okay. We're making breakfast buns, guys. You can also open the oven from time to time. Check the progress. Okay. This is fine. I can see the progress from outside. I wish you could do that. Uh, you can find the delivery crate next to the door. The amount of delivery crates is always determined by the number of orders you picked up on the current day. Each delivery crate has the client's logo on the side to help you identify the correct crate. This one is going to be delivered to 5-Minute Bakery. While holding the tray with baked pastries, press the button on the crate to place the buns inside. Oh, right here. We did it! Place the tray back on the counter. Okay. Now the last step, it's time to prepare the buns for delivery. Okay, now we need to pick up the crate and place it on right there on the blue on the blue mat. Remember that later in the game, you'll be able to stack crates on top of each other to deliver multiple orders. Now the order is ready for delivery. Move to the door and press the button for it to leave to delivery. Here you can choose which order you want to deliver. You've got only one order available, so we're already we've already picked it for you. Press the move to city button to move to the city. Oh no. We have to drive. This is not the end of your task. Delivering the orders is an important is as important as preparing them. During this part of your job, you have to be as fast as possible. Remember to watch the timer on the top of the screen. Okay, later in the game, you'll be able to hire um, a courier to deliver the orders for you. That will be nice, right? Yes, that will be very nice. In the bottom left corner, you can see a mini map that will help you navigate the city streets. To check the whole view of the area, you can open up the city map. Okay, I already know this is going to be bad. Before you move further, press tab to open the radical menu. Here you can find some useful tools that can help you with the delivery. Um... Okay, sounds good. Okay, press escape. Um, now we're ready to move. It okay, looks like we need to turn here. Um, don't mind if the if it's red or green. We're just gonna go. <laughs> okay, so it looks like maybe we deliver right here. Oh my gosh, we did it. <laughs> Drive into the green area and press R. Look at that. We gained 5 XP and made $150. Score 100%. Awesome. Back to the bakery we go. Maybe it's time to take a little break from all the baking. Do you know what's always fun? Makeovers. It's time for a bakery renovation to give you a fresh feel. We just started our bakery. To do this, press the tab and choose the customization option. Point at the main table and press the button. I'm guessing... I think this is all what we already have. I'm guessing it wants me to buy the minimalistic table because that's the only other one we have unlocked. Congratulations, you have just completed your first order. Don't forget what you've learned today. It will be useful in your future experience as a baker. Good luck. Okay, so now we're going to start a brand new game. Do you want to check the orders and start a new day? Yes, we do. Okay, so it looks like we need five breakfast buns. Let's see. What do we need? Let's open up the recipe. Um, breakfast buns. I think it said five, didn't it? Five breakfast buns. 
Okay, so looks like we're going to need 250 wheat flour, 100 water, 100 milk, 10 yeast, 5 sugar. Okay, the problem is I can't tell how much I have of each of these things. I mean, it looks like I have stuff. So, you know what? We're just, we're going to accept it. Confirm. Okay, here is our bowl. And we need 250 wheat. 250. 100 water. 100 milk. Uh, 10 yeast. And 5 sugar. Okay. Oh, we gotta put it into the mixer now. Push it on. Oh, boost! Holy moly, look at that boost. Okay, we, we took out our dough. Let's go ahead and place it right here. No, just kidding. We gotta place it right there. And now we're gonna form it into buns. One bun, two bun, three bun, four. Um, okay, that was that was uh less than what I had to do, but okay. Maybe I miscounted. Oh, you know what? I did four because there was one extra there was one yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm guess yeah, my math was off. Because there's always gonna be you cut it, and there's going to be one remaining at the very end. What am I thinking? Okay, let's go ahead and put these trays in. Baking is happening, guys. Oh, we have a timer. I didn't even realize we had a timer. Okay, is there any other things to accept? I don't think so. We, we just have the five-minute bakery for the breakfast buns we've already created. Okay, time to take these guys out. Put them in here, put that back, put that back here, and I guess we're ready to deliver again. Oh, we got some nice tunes this time. I'm not even worried. I remember how to get to 5 Minute Bakery. Super easy. Oh man, we got other cars on the road though. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them. Uh, this is a red light. It's okay. We're fine. We don't need to stop for red lights. Oh, look at that. 8 XP, $60. 100% score. We did it, guys. Oh, we made it to level 2. Two also, that is awesome. Reputation is also going up. Day 2. Okay, all we have again is 5 Minute Bakery. Two golden bread, though. We haven't made that before. Okay. So let's grab our bowl. Okay, we got our wheat flour. Let's get our water. And our milk. Okay, now we gotta get salt. Sugar. And yeast. Okay, it looks like we got to put it in the mixer for about 30 to 50 seconds. Let's boost it on up. I'm guessing the red is bad, so we probably don't want it to go into the red on the boost meter. But, you know, then again, I have no idea. Let's go ahead and grab our bowl. It's almost finished. We'll stop that. Grab our dough. Bring it over here to be formed. And we are making... Was it long breads? I think it was a long bread. I just realized something. How many long breads are we making? Are we making the right amount? Uh, 
Uh, no, we're making two. Okay, never mind. We are making the correct amount. Okay, let's go ahead and grab those guys. We'll put them back in here. Uh, 200 degrees Celsius. I don't think any that changes for any of them. And we'll go ahead and start cooking those. And those take about 50 to 70 seconds in the oven. So we just we just wait here. What is H trying to tell me? Um, all stuff I already know. Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh no. Oh, no, I want to grab the whole tray. Okay, let's put those in there. Put that back. Close the oven. Put this right here. We are ready for a delivery, guys. A five-minute bakery. We're coming back. Wait, is this a different place we're supposed to go to? Why does it look like it's a different place on the map? There's also a road construction right there, or a detour. Why does it look like we're going somewhere completely different this time? Oh no. Oh no, I think we need to go this way. Oh snap! Pretend that didn't just happen. Uh oh. Yeah, we just had a hit and run. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay, over this way. Okay, we're gonna try to stay on the road. Where's this place? Do five-minute bakeries change their location? I don't even know. I guess they did because right there we can see where we're supposed to be right now. Went a little past it. Let's go ahead and reverse. We're good! We got 19 XP, made $104. We got a score of 100%. Heck yes, guys. We made it to level 3! Uh, bakery reputation is now up to level 2. Pretty awesome stuff. But that's actually going to end it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for checking out this new game with me. If you guys did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing as well. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see some more of this. And, uh... Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this game. If you guys are interested in checking out the game for yourself, I will have a link down below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everybody!